Don't mind me, I am just a steamrolling my way through simulated universe. And it is always so satisfying seeing big numbers. And I know I said we were steamrolling through this, but to be honest, we're probably gonna lose here. Not sure if you guys noticed, but it has been just, you know, a little bit of time since the last Air Edition only video. Now, there are a bunch of reasons for that, including the fact that there wasn't really too much for us to do besides farming. But now, there is more stuff for us to do and I get to finally show you some of the progress that I've made on this account. Though, let's just uh, temper expectations a little bit because it's nothing insane. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's... That's a very lot of damage. And there goes the team. Hey, Hoyaverse, if you want to make like a support or healer erudition character, I would not mind. That would be pretty nice to have. I might even go as far as to say it would be appreciated. But let me show you what we're cooking with. We'll save the best for last, but every single character on here is max ascended now. I do still have to do a bit of farming for all of the XP and all of the credits that we're going to need to do that, as well as all the stuff we're going to need for maxing out these light cones. But traces, I am slowly making progress on, which is nice. Then serval and QQ, I haven't really farmed much for yet. Herda, I've been farming for a little bit, so she has like okay, a little less than okay stats. Argenti could definitely use more of both crits, but it is kind of a one to two, so at least we got that going. Yumiko is at a 62 to 100 crit, and for the grand finale, we have Jingyuan at 79 158. Now, because of some of his traces, is in battle, he can actually go above 100% crit, but I also want to point out that the planner ornaments he is on are not what I actually want him to be on. They're just filler until I can actually get something good to drop. So even he has room for improvement. You know, I was about to open up the wishing menu and say there's nothing we could pull for now, but just to show you, we have 40 wishes, which is pretty much just because Starvale is generous, and then around 4,000 Jade. And then I looked and they're actually is something we could pull for. An E1 Jingyuan would be pretty nice, but also getting another copy of his light cone could be a really good idea for this account. His E1 is like, is, it's good. It's not necessary. I'd prefer something like his E2 instead. If I did pull for his E1, we would be guaranteed to get it. If I pull for the light cone, there is no guarantee. Oh, oh, and this is available too? Oh, yes, please. I am definitely going to be pulling on the light cone banner. However, we all also have 21 pulls on Stellar Warp. I don't know where our pity is. It goes up to about 45 and then it doesn't show me any further or maybe that was as far back as it goes. So there's a chance we might be getting two five stars today. First 10 pull we see, uh, nothing we can use. Then I'm gonna do the one extra wish, which is a blue and that lets us do our last 10, why did I just exit out of that? That lets us do our last 10 pull on Stellar Warp. Do we see gold? We do. Ooh, five star incoming. Okay, Yumiko or Yumiko Light Cone obviously would be best case scenario. Or how about like five Himikos? How? What are the odds of that? Isn't this the banner where we got Himiko first try? I mean, we had to like go up to pity, but then we got her first try. That is kind of insane. Oh, we might be getting huge upgrades today. Oh, so Himiko gets a brand new light cone and someone else might also be getting a new light cone here. Yeah, after a bit of consideration, I think we are going to pull on here a bit. Maybe we'll get super. I mean, we already did get super lucky, but maybe we could see an early pity or at least some erudition related things in here. Second 10 pull no five star yet also not erudition third ten pull no gold uh this is an erudition light cone it's not one of the better ones but it's still erudition so i'll take it 40 pulls what are we seeing what are we seeing at the 40 pull mark more stuff i can't use also now that i have more of this i can grab the last two wishes in here so brief intermission for some more pulls on the stellar banner but nothing too exciting there now it's back to the light cone show me not that don't show me that what i want you to show me is this right here. Just joking. Next one. This is actually the last temple I can do, so I'm really hoping that this is gold. And it is. Very nice. Uh, this is a 50-50 though, which is not very nice. And I guess if we lose it, another Himiko one would be the best. But maybe the game is just gonna be really mean to me today. Well, that's very unfortunate. Oh. Ooh. Look, I could get- I could get- 30 more wishes there, or I could get a Himiko light cone. What I think I should do though, is I should get 
this because Eidolons are very nice for us. Also, now that I think about it, I probably should have maybe pulled on this banner because I could have gotten QQ Eidolons. But then I'm going to go ahead and get 23 more wishes. Here's how this is going to go. I'm going to do one 10 pull on Jinguan's banner. We're going to get Jinguan and not Jinguan. We're going to get three QQs. Ready? Ready? Count them out with me. One QQ. Wait for it. Wait, okay, that doesn't count. Wait for it. Any second now. Okay, one. I only said one. You might have thought that I said three, but you actually just misheard. Then we're going to do another 10 pull. We're not going to see a five star. And this one's going to have two QQs. See, there's the first one. You thought I was joking. You just wait. Incoming QQ number two. Right. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here. There's QQ. You're not QQ. And that is how you go from a lot of wishes to no wishes at all. Just joking, I still have two more. Before I do those last two, though, let me just see how many Eidolons we got for you now. We bring... Okay, we need one more. If we were maxed, I would have gone back to the light cone, but because we're not, we're still pulling here. Unfortunately, though, we're not seeing that last QQ. Why couldn't Clara be an erudition character with all the follow-up attacks that she does? Is there, like any use whatsoever for her light cone on this account because unfortunately i don't think there is that's as far as i could bring the light cone for right now but here's the good news there are a lot of ways for us to make some extra jade right now and that's a really good thing because all it takes is one wish for us to get really lucky like that. Not that one. Okay, next one. Oh, also, we can take on the Trial of Equilibrium. Spoiler alert, I did attempt this once off camera just to see how hard or easy it would be, and I, I kind of lost. But see, now I know that I need to buff up as much as I can. And let's see if this will be... Oh, gosh. This does not look like it's going to be any easier for me than it was last time. Come on, big damage. Oh, he does so much to us. All right, Argenti, we need to see massive damage from this. Come on, show me like 800,000. Show me 36,000. Good enough. Now, after that last time I lost here, I made up a lot more rice for us so that we could actually heal between these battles. Then we'll consume a bit more food. Buff up. Oh, oh uh, yeah, I'll eat, I'll eat that. We buff up again. We stun you. We put up. Okay, buff again. Put up this thing, and then we'll hit you with that. This is where I lost last time but we're not going to lose again. Mark my words, we are going to win. See? I told you. Equilibrium part six complete. So I'm pretty sure now we are max world level, which is, uh, you know, good because more drops, but also terrible because I have even less survivability now. There is also what I will call a newer game mode, which is the pure fiction. I don't actually remember when it was added and I've only done it maybe once on my main account during a live stream. So genuinely, I, I don't know like the best strategies. And also we don't have eight characters on the account. So that makes this just, you know, just a tiny bit tougher. On the bright side, it is very much designed for follow-up attacks. So maybe we can at least beat some of it with only six characters. And oh my gosh, the lag. Obviously, Herda and Himiko are a very nice combination together. But the no sustain is what's making me a bit worried. So far, though, this is uh, this is actually going pretty well. Already at 30,000 points. <laughs> Oh, that was satisfying. There we go. 40,000. Time for node two. Come on, team. We can do this. Or what I should say is, come on, Jing Yuan. I know you can do this. A QQ is very strong if she's built. And as I mentioned before, ours is not built. I spent most of the time and resources on this account dedicated to Jing Yuan, which isn't necessarily a bad thing since he can carry us in some content. Well, until they do a lot of damage to us, that is. Oh. We hit 60,000 points. We actually did it. And now we're at 70,000 points. I would say that went better than I expected. All right, I, I just realized that the enemies were level 55, but we don't have to point that out, okay? Let's just pretend that they were level 80. Surely this won't work again though, right? Because now the enemies are 65. All right, maybe I take it back. This is also working pretty well. They are very slowly but surely whittling our team down and our biggest source of DPS just died. I think that's a wrap. It's okay though. The other side can still pull its weight. Oh, we did it. We got past 60,000 again. It's just too easy. I say that now knowing very well that I probably can't go any further though. That time only some 74,000, but that is enough for all of the rewards. Wait, 
there's a T-Rex enemy now? Okay, even if we can't beat this, I just need to see that thing. I should also mention, I have not done any of the new stuff in the more recent updates yet. Not even on my main account. So in terms of the new story, new enemies, new all of that stuff, I know nothing. This is not looking too good. The big soda monkey kind of does a lot of damage to us. Yeah. Okay. Not even 10k points. Oh, but look at this dude. A T-Rex chef? How does the dude even cook with such short arms? I do not know what that symbol means or what zero out of six means, but the number goes up when I hit him, which kind of scares me. All right. So we have found the maximum of what we can do right now, but that's a decent number of jade. So I'm not complaining. And now we have more funds to try and get QQE6. Hopefully, they're just nice to us and they give it to us as our next four star, though we still have plenty of ways to get some more jade. <gasps> the final QQ. Well, now I guess we have to build her up. Or really what that means is I just need to get the relics and then wait for the weekly boss reset. It's been a couple of days since the last recording. And if we take a peek in here, we can see QQ is now max level. And I did farm up just enough so we could also max level Herda. In addition to that, I did go ahead and farm up some of the weekly bosses. And I, I was just looking at what this does. And for this account, I feel like we're going to get that maybe one once per battle but we'll go ahead we'll give it a shot then we'll craft every key possible to the highest tier since we don't have any new characters and we'll upgrade this that this these the oh we um we're out of credits. That is not the material that I thought- Oh, we just got some. But it's not enough. Yeah, didn't expect that to run out first. Which I suppose makes it a good time to go start on whatever this next quest is. But right before that, let's just spend the wishes we have. I think I also did some simulated universe between recording so we could get a couple more of the rewards there. Still no super good planner ornaments though. Or really any usable planner ornaments. I also do not remember whether we were trying to get e one j Yuan or the light cone. I feel like light cone's better, but we're closer to pity on Jing Yuan. However, since QQ is max idol on, it might be better to just save the guaranteed 50 50, and we're almost at pity for a five star. And we'll keep pulling on this banner instead. Because if we were to not get that, but instead get Jing Yuan's signature light cone and give that to another character, that's a huge upgrade. However, we are only around, I think, like 30 pity for that. So it's gonna be a long road ahead. Wait, someone's name in this game is Legwork? Well, we know somebody doesn't skip leg day. I have avoided pretty much all spoilers other than I know something bad probably happens to one of the main characters involved, but I don't know what and I don't know if that's true. So even though I'm seeing this like a month after it came out and you're not seeing this video until probably two months after it came out. This is going to be my first experience in the new area of Star Rail. Oh, and we get some fancy premonitions this time. Oh, no, this, is, this is not a premonition. We are somewhere else entirely. Can this be my permanent room on the Astral Express? Do we even have a room on the Astral Express? Oh, how, how about we just trade out the entire train for this? I have a sneaking suspicion that we're going to go inside of a hotel later that looks exactly like this. Oh, <gasps> I can walk on walls. Any chance that I don't forget all of this because I'm built different? Have we met somewhere before? I'm sorry, you are not the Raiden Shogun that I know. We have definitely never met. Uh, she's asking me if I would go live in Dream World. And when she first asked, I said no. And now she's asking, would you still invite? The, the answer's been no the whole time. This girl really likes asking the same questions over and over. Yo, I got cosmic blood and something tells me this is a bad guy dude looks like he's permanently hypnotized so if this is just a massive hotel the, the city's gotta be like enormous otherwise why would this many people come to just stay at a hotel i'm pretty much expecting a city the size of genshin impact what do you mean not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime there's about a billion rooms here who's in them then oh i would hate to have to do housekeeping here daily quota of about 3,000 rooms each oh, hey we're back in my room oh wait this actually this actually is my room wait why we why do you get okay aren't your clothes gonna be soaked after that yeah like at least put on a bathing suit so people come to the hotel to 
go sit in a bathtub that makes them dream about being somewhere else. Why would I ever come to the hotel? Uh, like, I know why we came to the hotel, but just in theory, why would I ever go to the hotel? So it's basically a hotel for VR chat. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Oh, why do these things do so much damage? That is not a good sign of things to come. The first fight in the new area, and Himiko almost goes down in two hits. I'm so glad that they let me take the photos sometimes. It came out great. Oh, I think so. Why would you be taking a picture in the back of the statue? Why do you look so nervous to be taking a picture? Excuse you? Wait, 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 wait. So if this is a dream reality, then in my dreams, I would just get the five-star light cone. So I should be able to just, yeah, no, no, it's all a lie. This whole dream thing is a giant scam. Wait, I get to gamble in a gacha game now? I would play this one because there's a chance for a light cone, but it's path in the hillity, so that's kind of useless. Oh, I got a big prize. It's food though honestly for this account that's probably not a bad thing oh and i got the super big prize what one xp book oh that that doesn't feel like a super big prize there we go i'm going to have to use this very carefully but that will be very good at some point now with my last five tokens i am going to go try this one because why not oh i just realized this one takes two tokens per run that would have been good to know not that it really matters oh shampoo's back i thought we ditched that dude in bella bug you know you could have given me a hundred guesses as to what i thought i'd be doing in the new update and uh this this never would have been one of them all right so i am now 0 for 2 in the what i expected what happened department uh, okay though let's uh let's go fight the garbage king it's gonna be really funny if this is actually a threat we get a whole cutscene for the garbage king oh no it's sampo so basically yeah the garbage king D genuinely you're just wondering were the developers on something when they made this update so i now possess the power of friendship and i can make this guy happy excuse me little child you are now going to be pissed off i don't like the fact that the most basic of enemies in this area pretty much wipes out my team like that is uh that's not good why does firefly look so much younger in that picture than she does in the game okay but before we leave this spot you see all of these golden things raining from the sky yeah those are five stars so clearly the best place to get ourselves a five star light cone would be right here okay maybe not i was not expecting a trash can to just stand up and kick me in the stomach <laughs> and it does a lot of damage to my team the dude yeah, just one shot. What is that garbage? I get it. Gar garbage. See what I did there? However, now that we have done a little bit of the pina cone, pina, 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 whatever it is, we are able to do some of the events that are still going on and that are going to be ending very soon. Of course, that's if we don't just die to everything. Oh, we get lots of free jade. Is it enough jade to see a five star light cone though? First one is no. I keep getting this one, especially on my main account i've gotten so many of that light cone second one is also no okay apparently i forgot that we were only at 20 pity on that banner i thought we were a lot closer but i think i was getting my main account in this one confused so sampo wasn't sampo or was sampo always sparkle that's what i'm gonna believe because that's a lot funnier my strategy here is just keep running straight because i have a feeling no matter what door you go through it's gonna keep doing the same thing until a certain point this will get me out of here try see as much as i want to fight a boss i also don't because i'm gonna die in one turn though it's kind of looking like i'm gonna fight a boss oh boy um no please don't kill me i would have buffed up before this oh no the game is at half speed like i know it's normal speed but it feels so so oh, slow after playing with speed up. Uh, no, thank you. I foresee this going terribly for me, especially since only Himiko is strong against it. Oh no, I just realized it's the memory zone meme. I'm gonna die to a meme? Oh, oh yeah, I am. Can I, um, 
Yeah, let me let me retreat. Where do you spawn me? Back here. Okay. How about how about we try to buff up a little bit? I'm not gonna use this yet, but maybe you know, like taking less damage could be pretty nice. And then buffing our attack could also be really good. And then I'm gonna buff you, and I'm gonna buff you, and let's try it now. I still don't know if this is gonna be enough, but it should be slightly better. If they ever make an erudition character that can heal, I this this account would just it'd be so much better or even just buffing like support stuff oh this is not going well hey game you want to give me like plot armor so i don't just uh, die here please Yimiko solo anyone no okay uh that's uh oh that's that's not looking too good actually there is one way that we might be able to do a lot better in that fight and that's if we go ahead and get this light cone right now you know one of these times saying something along those lines is actually gonna work and it's gonna feel so rewarding which is pretty much why i say it every single time i pull all right really quick i just want to gather some information so it's weak to fire wind and imaginary Oh, oh, that's really fun because out of all of those, all we have is Himiko. And I don't think that leveling this up a couple times is really going to change much. I also don't even have the credits to level it up. See, I could try to swap everyone back onto the Guard of Weathering Snow, but then we do way less damage. And with how hard everything is hitting in this area, I don't think that's going to be enough to survive. Okay, so I went, I took a shower, and like any normal person, while I was in the shower, I was thinking about different ways to beat this boss. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think there are too many, but the best that I could come up with was running something like Jinyuan Himiko because it's only weak to Himiko. And then from there, what we want to do is bring two characters to just hopefully take hits. So our Genti could tag along because as a five-star character, he has a higher base HP. Then between QQ, Serval, and Herda, QQ actually has the highest overall base defenses. Herda's got 171, 681, which is the second highest. And even though QQ does have a little less HP, she has a lot more defense. So I would come in here, we'd grab that nice guard of wuthering snow, and quite literally just try to put as much HP as possible on these characters. So that puts QQ at almost 5,000 HP, which isn't great, but it's better. This is so funny to me. I put a crappy rope onto Argenti. I just wanted the HP percent, and from the set bonus, we get defense, and it's only rolled into crit. Now, unfortunately, due to being completely out of credits, I can't actually power anything up anymore. So this still technically could be improved. Then we just want to go ahead and not play in slow motion. But we just want to get all of our ultimates up for the first turn of battle. In terms of our food choice, we got options. I'm actually thinking about going with this because there's a chance for it to select the wrong target, but there's only one enemy, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then I guess we'll also just go with the HP, and this is the highest one that I happen to have. It will give us the extra HP, give us the damage bonus. We got to make sure we use that talent and... Uh, I, I guess this one doesn't really matter. Feels kind of bad to have an E6 QQ that's just on HP. And to be entirely honest, I don't really expect this to work, but it's the best I could come up with right now. And it, um, oh, right, it has AoE too. Yeah, that's gonna suck. I am not going to use QQ's skill because she's not here for damage, even though I really want to use her skill. This is not going well. Like, you know, sometimes with stuff in this challenge, we got kind of close, but we weren't able to finish things off and, um, that's not even, like, remotely close to what's happening here. Ching Yuan, it was nice knowing you. Yeah. That's okay. Argenti can solo this, no problem. Or maybe not. My only hope is that perhaps you get to a certain spot in that fight and then something comes in to help you. Because if not, um... I don't know if we can beat that. If I just farmed for QQ's relics, got her on, like, something really good... Could she nuke that boss down? Maybe? I tend to think not, but maybe, hopefully, I'm wrong. Either way, we desperately need to farm credits. So for now, this is where the account's gonna be stuck. With that, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. I have a lot of farming to do, but with that being said, I will see all of you guys next time.